Hey, what's up guys? It's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a YouTuber who makes videos related to the University of Washington where I go to school double majoring in astronomy and physics. I'm also on the boxing team, so today I'm going to be making a video talking about the pros and cons of being a student athlete. The first pro about being a student athlete is that you don't necessarily have to set aside extra time to work out on your own. Let's say you're not in a sport, but you want to work out consistently, maybe five days a week for two hours a day. It's super easy to say, oh, I can't go to the gym today because I have too much homework, or I can't go to the gym tomorrow because I have a test tomorrow. Whereas being in a sport, it's very set times. This is when we're practicing. This is when we're having games. This is when you have to be there and you're committed to that schedule. Therefore, by being in a sport, you aren't able to make up the excuse, oh, I'm too busy, oh, I don't have time, if it's already set in your schedule and it's a mandatory commitment. Along with that, you don't have to worry about losing your fitness progress because if you miss the gym a few times each week, it's going to add up and you're going to see less and less results as opposed to someone who's committed to working out five or six times a week. Remember that progress is formed by consistency. So even if you're not in a sport, if you do want to commit to five days a week working out, don't let excuses come in the way of that. The next pro about joining a sport in college is that you're able to meet so many new people you probably wouldn't have met if you weren't in that sport. The reason why I say you probably wouldn't have met those people if it weren't for the sport is due to multiple reasons. The University of Washington has such a large student body that the likelihood of you meeting every single one of your teammates outside of that sport is pretty small. Your sports team is made up of people with different genders, different ages, different grades, and different majors, plus a bunch of other differences you might have. Maybe the only thing you have in common is that sport. I made a bunch of friends through the boxing team and also met my current roommates, which is so awesome because I probably wouldn't have met them if we weren't on the same team together. One of my roommates is in public health, the other one in education, and the other one in international studies, so the likelihood of all of us coming together is pretty small. It was also super helpful to join a sport my freshman year because I found that it was difficult to make friends through classes or even in my residence hall and by having that sports team you're kind of with them all the time so you're bound to make at least a few friendships. Another pro about being in a sport is that it's a resume builder. Even though being in this sport might not at all relate to the future career you want, for example, me wanting to work at NASA, what does that have to do with boxing? The key here is to think about the skills that you've learned through that sport that can be applicable to your future career. For example, by being on the boxing team, I've not only learned how to box, but I've learned time management skills. I've learned communication, leadership, teamwork, learning something, practicing it, and getting better. These are all skills that can be applicable to my future job at NASA. Some people think that doing a sport is a waste of time, waste of energy, when you can be using all that for more studying, for more research. Obviously, studying and research are super important, especially to your future career, but it's also important to be a well-rounded student, a well-rounded person in general, someone who's able to balance school with other commitments they have in their life. Another pro that's kind of cliche and superficial about doing a sport in college is that you're able to say, I'm a student athlete, I'm a college athlete, I play a sport in college. Even just wearing my boxing hoodie around campus makes me feel super special, like I'm part of something bigger than myself, that I get to represent the team outside the gym. Another pro about being in a sport other than your teammates is the amazing connections you'll form with your coaches. That's not to say that you'll love every single coach or even the way that they coach, but I believe every athlete is able to learn something from a coach regardless regardless if they like them or not. It's always super helpful to have someone who could be that mentor slash teacher figure in your life who can offer you the advice that they have and therefore you can take that advice and improve upon your skills and get even better in whatever it is you're trying to do. Those are some of the more broad reasons as to why you should do a sport in college. I mean, as for more specifically on the boxing team, we get to practice at Emerald City Boxing Gym, which is one of the best boxing gyms in Seattle. Because we're a part of the UW team and we practice there, we're also able to use that equipment outside of practices, which is super nice. I can only speak for the boxing team. I don't know what it's like for the other sports, but I'm assuming they have their own place to practice. Um, even if they don't, at least the facilities and equipment might be nice, at least at the University of Washington. I'm not sure how this applies to other schools either. Now I'm going to get into the cons of being a college athlete. The first con I can think of is fundraising and it's a little bit different for all the sports because I'm pretty sure for NCAA Division 1 teams they don't have to fundraise. Even though the University of Washington is an NCAA Division 1 school, the boxing team can't be a part of NCAA. The University of Washington doesn't recognize it as a school sport so we have to call ourselves a club and therefore we have to fundraise in order to be able to go to tournaments and competitions. 
things, which is really unfortunate because I feel like boxing should be recognized as a sport by the school. Unfortunately, I feel like UW thinks boxing is too dangerous, but I don't know what makes it more dangerous than like football or something. Fundraising is not everyone's cup of tea, and for the boxing team, we had to sell hoodies and beanies. Each one is super expensive, which makes it kind of difficult to sell to students who might possibly be broke because they're in college. I think a beanie was like 25 and a hoodie was like 45 or something like that. The only reason the prices are high is because the quality is good and because we need to make a profit to fundraise. And by receiving six plus items to sell, it may be difficult for that person to sell. Um, not to say that they are bad at selling, but maybe they don't find anyone who wants to buy these. An additional con with that is that if you aren't able to sell your items or have someone sell them for you, you have to pay the cost of whatever you weren't able to sell. These are not accurate numbers, but for example, let's say I had $100 worth of hoodies and I sold two hoodies for $20 each. That means I would have made $40 in profit. However, there was $60 that I didn't sell and therefore would need to cover to pay back to the team. Another con with boxing being a club sport instead of one recognized by the school is that we also have to pay dues to be on the team. I don't know if this is disclosed information, but I think it's like 300 something per person. Also by being a student at the University of Washington, you get to use the IMA for free. So it's not like you have to pay for a gym membership anywhere. So it's kind of like you're paying additional costs to work out instead of just paying nothing to work out. Like I said, I do think the cost is worth it just because it comes with all the additional support and services like coaches, training facilities, equipment, all that stuff. However, the price could be out of reach for some people, so I just wanted to mention that so it's something to consider. Another con, which I think is a pretty obvious one, is the amount of time you will spend committed to this sport. During my freshman year of being on the boxing team, I had a month-long tryout process from September to October, which lasted Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. During the rest of the school year, we had practices Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you were inactive, it meant Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you chose to do sparring an additional workout, that would be on Saturday. Each workout is bound to last at least two hours. So let's look at hypothetical student athlete who's on the boxing team and their typical school day. Let's say they start their school day at 8 a.m. and it goes till 3 p.m. and they start boxing practice at 8 p.m. And then between 7 and 8 is the time that it takes to get ready and get to the gym. That means that this student only has between 3 and 7 p.m., so four hours, to do all of their homework to eat, to hang out with friends, to study all of the stuff that they wanted to do throughout the day that they couldn't because they have class and practice within those four hours. If this student doesn't manage to finish studying and doing their homework in this four hour time period, which they probably won't because it's not enough time, this student is already gonna come back from practice super late at night. They're gonna have to take a shower, eat a snack. By the time they're all done with that, it's gonna be 11 o'clock and oh wait, you probably should be going to bed because you have to get up at seven to get ready for class, but wait, you have another four hours of homework and studying to do. It's really easy to let your academics slip up when you have this huge commitment, especially at the times that you have it. And the thing with college is that everything is pretty much on you. If you slip up, you gotta find some way to catch back up again. Pretty soon the midterms are gonna come up and oh wait, you didn't study because you had practice the day before. There are so many times during my freshman year where I wish I had more time to do my homework. I wish I had more time to study for my exams. And honestly, I probably would have performed better academically. Unfortunately, I had these commitments with boxing. The last con about being in a sport, which some may consider a pro to an extent, um, is that you are going to be pushed to your limits, maybe even beyond your limits athletically, physically, mentally, all that. At least from my experience in boxing, which might be a little more intense than some of the other sports that you do. Out of 100 memories at boxing tryouts, I would say at max, two are pleasant. To wrap up this entire video, joining a sport in college is a huge commitment. It's not for everyone, especially if you really, really, really want to focus on your academics and want to use all the time that you have during the day to study and do research and whatnot. Based on my experience being a college athlete, I do think that the pros of being in a sport outweigh the cons. That is totally up to you to make that decision for yourself. That is the end of the video. If you all have any additional questions about being a student athlete, about the University of Washington, or anything in general, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. It is jessicastarsinspace underscore. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.